name is Patrick Mahoney. My presentation today will be on Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. This is their tagline, and also I look back in my life, and it makes perfect sense to me. Whenever I begin a new season, a new sporting season, we always went to Dick's Sporting Goods. From purchasing my first baseball for Little League, to golf balls for Varsity Golf. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods was founded in 1948 in Bring Binghamton, New York, by an 18-year-old young man named Dick Stack. Mr. Stack was asked by a previous employer on ways to expand his business. When Mr. Stack told him his suggestion to expand the fishing and tailgating department, the employer told him, and I quote, uh, that he was a dumb kid and had no idea what he was doing. Uh, Mr. Stack then left with only $300 in capital received from his grandmother from her life savings to open his first business. From those humble beginnings, he expanded the store offerings from fishing and tackling to many other products currently offered. Uh, eventually, his son Ed Stack took over as their current CEO and chairman, and he is to this day. Uh, driving behind expanding the retailer from two stores to what is now 675 different locations. Uh, their corporation op uh, officers are now in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania, <clears throat> uh, where they now own and operate other companies such as Golf Galaxy and Field and Stream. Uh, financial revenues. Currently, financial report shows that sales are around $7.92 billion a year. Uh, their gross income revenue is about $2.37 billion per year. Uh, these numbers confirm continuous solid growth in both sales and revenue over the past five years. As many competitors have fallen to the wayside during the same time frame. A recent earning called in March of 2017 gave a recap of the fourth quarter 2016 earnings. Uh, their sales this year have been $2.48 billion, a growth of 10.9%. Uh, their e commerce sales were $444 million, a 27% uh, growth. Additionally, e-commerce grew from 15.7% net sales to 17.9% of net sales. Uh, that last number was the previous slide is a important number to realize. As it shows how retailing is changing, a brick and mortar stores are struggling to keep up with e-commerce. Many of their competitors, such as Sports Authority and Michigan's own base sporting goods companies, uh, MC Sporting Goods and Imperial Sports, have not survived the e-commerce boom. This is one reason why, according to their website, they consider themselves as an omni-channel company. These companies look at how all uh, channels work together, from company websites, social media, apps, manufacturers, and even the company and the share collective information. Allowing the customer to have a seamless shopping experience and even controlling their own information to share when desired. Uh, future growth. According to Mr. Edward Stack, the current CEO during the fourth recent quarter earning call, uh, the main to maintain and have the expand growth, they will continue to focus on the growth by acquiring dis uh, displaced customers through acquisitions such as Sports Authority, Sports Sport Chalet, and Golfsmith. This will allow the new sport the new sport growth in these no longer severed markets. The the uh, consul the consolidated of their vendors into three different groups. Segment A which will strategic vendors who will in invest in both online and in-store by providing exclusive and differentiated products. Segment B, vendors who they simply have a transactional relationship with. And segment C, these are vendors who will be eliminated from the brand. With these 
consolidations, they hope to obtain increase in sales and profits by having more exclusive products combined with better margins from the vendors. Finally, they will continue to focus on growth in three categories. Uh, hard lines such as equipment such as golf clubs, tennis rackets, and camping equipment, footwear, and apparel. With those groups, they will continue to focus on private brands to reach $1 billion in sales. An example of the main private brand is Kalia, which is a women's fitness develop, developed by uh, country singer Carrie Underwood. Finally, a, relay, a relaunch of Dix.com for a more end, a more end user friendly website. Some career opportunities at Dix Sporting Goods. Having previously worked a, a seasonal job at Dix Sporting Goods, I enjoyed the relaxed culture, such as uh, no company uniforms or you wearing the sport you are passionate about. Dick Sporting Goods has many opportunities to work the front lines of their retail storefronts. At one of their distributors centers to management at the corporate offices. I was especially interested in learning about these three opportunities offered. Uh, Summer Experience Day, uh, you were able to spend a day at their corporate offices with the university relations team to learn a, to be able to to be able to learn about all positions available, including internships. Uh, second, uh, MBA General Management Internship, an internship program which allows you to work on your MBA during that process, and an MBA Executive Development Program to internally develop their own minor minor league of MBA of MBAs talent by working side by side with current MBA executives for 24 to 30 months at a time. Uh, in conclusion, even though, as I stated from the beginning, a struggle for brick and mortar retail, especially in sporting good markets, I believe that Dick Sporting Goods has implemented a strong strategical plan, as mentioned earlier, through capturing a, di a displaced market, improving inventory management by consolidating vendors, continuing growth with exclusive products and omnichannel marketing 